D6969 Tentacle 69 Cinch None. Bring your ass to the congregation. We here. I have not done one of these videos in a while, so excuse my French. I'm kind of rusty. I'm a little rusty. But I gotta talk about it real quick. What's up? What's happening? It's K. We back in the stand. K. Show Goody. Sleep with good up a throne. You know, the nigga wanna turn. Shout out Gutter Mob Strong like a Navy. I'm here to talk about the nigga called Tenkashi. That's not. Because he on the beat the clock, man. We gotta talk about it. So, Tenkashi. Going, going through a little rough patch. Now, we all know his thing. I'm not going to sit here and recap his career that much because he's still around to this day. Popped up before 2017, but he was doing his thing. He signed to, I think, 10K Project. Whatever label Trippy read on, signed there. Trippy got a piece of the first album. What was it? Day 6 or 9 or whatever. Anyways, there was a beat for Gummo that Pierre Bourne sent to Trippy. He didn't use it. 6 9 somehow got it. He made Gummo. He came around all these hood Treyway niggas. And the song did what it did. It really popped off. Everybody was paying attention to 6 9 He was doing his thing. He was beefing a lot of people using social media to advantage. And it was actually very entertaining. We were tuning into his IG to watch what the fuck he was going to do. And it became to a point, yeah, he had the music. But then he also had the persona that we kind of liked and we enjoyed. You know, having stories about how his dad passed away and how he has to maneuver, you know, the, you know, S.A. allegations, you know, that short for, come on, all these YouTubes be fucking uh, scared of demonetization when they say that little shit. By the way, the day YouTube hits my ass, right, from me saying the N-word, not with the E-R, but with the A at the end, we fine. I'm fine, though. All right, now, we doing a boxing man. But besides all that, right? So he was doing all that, doing this thing, really turning up, dropped a lot of songs, beefing with people to get him more exposure on Instagram and stuff like that. You know, rolling around with the gang, getting into brawls and such at airports. You know, it's all documented. That's why I'm not really going into detail. You could really just pull this shit up. That's why there's a documentary series on like Spotify and shit. Oh, this nigga. You know what I'm saying? But he was doing this thing, though. Funny moments on um The Breakfast Club when he was tra challenging Charlemagne and all that shit. I go back and watch it sometimes. That nigga was really turned up. But he had the gang behind him, did his thing. Then he dropped Day 6 and 9. Now, he probably dropped some tapes beforehand. Niggas didn't really pay attention to. Let me go through. So, it was like, Tenkashi 69. 2017. 6 9 Mixes. 2015. Flenna. 2014. So, in 2018, that's when he really blew up. They're saying there's a Red 6-9 tape with him and Trippy. I don't believe that's real. It possibly could be, but I don't know. But anyways, Day 6-9 dropped 2018. Dummy Boy dropped 2018 as well? Huh. Didn't know that. Yeah. Because the summer you popped off, right? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, but Day 6-9 popped off. You know, the songs were short, sweet, straight to the point. Had funny names. And he did this thing. He kind of had a few Spanish songs on there to, for us to vibe a little bit and dance. But it was what it was. So, Day 6-9. Let me just tell you some of the songs that was on here. So, Gummo. Rondo. One of my favorite songs by 6 9 I ain't gonna lie. Rondo, Tough. Billy. Kiki. Kuda. Gummo Remix, Gotti, like he had a lot of songs on here that was going crazy, everybody was fucking with it, it was cool, it was going cool, people was fucking with it, it was what it was, he had the street niggas behind him, was doing this thing, he couldn't be touched, he had real muscle behind him, he was really buying into the facade of 6 9 being the biggest, toughest goon out of New York, I ain't checking, I go where I want, I do my thing, and we was like, oh, oh yeah, this, yeah, he's real, nobody really started problems with him, his his crew is legit. And that's what we took it as. Now, as you know, later on in life, I guess in the year 2018, because he was locked up when Dummy Boy came out. But basically, you know, they got racketeering charges on the Treyway Bloods doing their thing. I still think 6 9 was a part of that, because like I said, not a part of it as in he was doing the shit, but like, because of the exposure he was giving them niggas, like, people was paying attention to them more. But like, that was happening... And then he was getting caught up in a lot of situations. Because of that, he got kidnapped by them because the money stopped coming in. He had beef with certain niggas like Harv and all that. I don't know if Shoddy completely turned his back on him at that point when he got, like, uh, after the second um, Breakfast Club interview when he denounced them. I don't know what the fuck it was. And he called them dirty. 
bloods or whatever the fuck. And yeah, I don't know exactly what happened. That shit happened. They had there was like beef <laughs> within the circle because you know six and I was just moving weird or whatever. I don't know, bro. That was just like money. When it was the thing he says they smashed his baby mama, but like, and see, this is my thing with six nine. This is my one thing with six nine. Nigga, they kidnapped you. Fuck the man. We don't care about that. Nigga, they kidnapped. They try to take your life. Listen, they smashed the girl. Cause see, this is how I view it, right? Listen, Sarah is a grown one. If she wanted to smash whoever she smashed, she smashed them. And if he wanted to, he did. They both know. Hey, they connected to you. That's your man's or whatever. So it was what it was. And then this is my thing, right? You with Jade or you talking to various females or whatever. That's the mother of your kid. As long as they don't harm her or whatever, who really cares? But yeah, there is some like, Yo, what the hell? You smashing my baby mama? Yeah, of course there's some. Bro, what you own? But it, like this motherfucker took offense. And I'm like, boy, there's allegedly some papers out there they'll use beating on shorty. I don't even know if that's true. But like, it seemed like y'all was cool. You know what I'm saying? So like... It was what it was, bro. You couldn't have your cake and eat it too at the end of the day. Yeah, that's your baby mom, but you couldn't like, bro, have your cake. Like, it happens, bro. <laughs> Niggas be on some nigga shit, bro. If yo, they found her attractive, they wanted to do what they did, and they did what they did, hey. That's their business, man. Now, you could be mad at him, but like, the way you say, yo, yo, was it right when they smashed my baby mama? Like, he acts like all of them did, and I don't know. If all of them them, that's wild. I ain't gonna, I agree with you. But like, if it was just one, two niggas, it's like, bro, is that really all? Yeah, blame them two niggas, not the whole squad. Like, what the fuck is he on? But anyways, I digress. But yeah, there was hot at that time. Police was really coming in and shit happened. 6 ix 9 could have got 47 years and he snitched on me. And it was what it was. You know, he took the bargain. He took the plea deal. And he was going to snitch. And he did what he did. You know what I'm saying? And then we start coming snitch nine or Hereditui. Hereditui with the Tuli, you hear me? But anyways, let's go through Dummy Boy. Because that was the last album. They had some good shit on this one. Tattle Tales, I don't know. Oh, okay. I guess he's on Create Music Group. I don't know if Trippy's on that label as well. Oh, yeah. Also, the Scum Gang thing happened. Don't even, that, that was confusing as well. How uh, they said, like, he wasn't a part of it. And shit like that, bro. Like... It was just fucking confusing. Don't even get me started on that bullshit. But let's pull up the track list. Let me find some of the songs on here. You know? So. Uh, I hate when they separate it like this. So stupid. Sorry. Proper track listing. So yeah. Stupid with Bobby Shmurda. Fifi with Nicki Minaj. TikTok with Baby. Um. What was it? Kika. With Toy Lanez. How the fuck did Kika go? I don't remember that shit. Mama with Kanye and Nicki. Waka with a book. How the fuck did Waka go? I remember swerving. How the fuck did Waka go? Baby with Anuel or BB. Mala with Anuel. Kanga with Kanye West. FIFA. Yo, th these naming schemes, bro. You, I don't know why the fuck he did that, but hey, it was what it was. Yo, well, Gunna, Tag Team with Spin King, Wando, and Dummy with Trife Drew. So it was what it was. Also, people were saying like he had help writing his shit. Like Tribe Drew and another nigga was helping him do his shit. And the 6 9 was going down. But anyways, he was in jail. This dropped. We didn't know he was really a snitch yet. It did well. So as he took the plea deal, started snitching on the people and stuff. He's like, you wasn't a real one. And this is the thing. He was fabricating your image for the money and all this other shit. Which I'm not saying niggas don't do in the music industry. But it was just... The way like he was just moving like he's untouchable. We thought he was really a street nigga, but you wasn't. So we like, oh, oh, we ain't believe this shit now. Oh, get out of here. You lied to us. You lied to us. Now I'm not going to sit here and talk about 2018, 2019. Basically, he did his thing. He snitched. If you really want to look at it, it was like, there's like videos of people breaking it down. Like Agnes was breaking down the case as it was happening and he was saying what he was saying. So basically, he got out. He got out. When I uh, dropped, what was the song he dropped? Was it? It was Gooba, right? I think it was Gooba. Well, he dropped Gooba. Did its thing. You know, everybody was doing whatever. Everybody was mad. He was out. All the hitters. The only people that had to be mad was the Trayway niggas and Trippy Red, because them niggas was trying to fight. 
uh, six nine was dissing his dead brother. That was the only nigga he he had to be like had real reason to be mad at him. He also did like some skits with Trippy's ex at the time called Elex. That's, that's another story for another day. It's too much shit to talk about. Anyways, that was going on. Then he came out. He thought he could do this thing again and run it up. Now he got blackballed when he dropped his newest album. I forgot what it was called. Tattle Tales in 2020. He got blackballed. You know, he was all, he was very into numbers. Every time like, oh, I'm one on one, I'm 11 of 11 on the billboard. He really took numbers to a thing. And he really like, yo, I'm that dude on billboard. He really used that in his trolling and his social media presence. And I think that's what was his downfall at this point. Because we, we wasn't doing the bundle shit like we was before when you bundle t-shirts and all that shit with your album sales and album uh, concert tickets and all that fuck shit. We was moving out of that. And you was blackballed. So it was just ridiculous at that point. So I think he was like, he wanted to do a hundred over a hundred K and he did like 53. Like Dirk outsold him, you know, and he was beefing with Lil Dirk at the time. Well, it still is. But like, you know, he was doing this thing. So let me go through. Locked up part two, which con uh, Akon, the fuck was you on for giving that nigga that, but whatever. Gooba, Charlie, Trolls with Nikki. Nini, I hate these fucking names. Punani, which, yeah, that, that was a song. Yaya, Leia, Gata, with Little Ak, with DJ Academics. GTL, and Ape, like. It was, it was what it was. And this is. Not, and now he has dropped some songs, did some stuff. He still does shows here and there, and he does have a fan base. But his fan base is always clamoring for new music. We haven't seen him in a while, I will say. After the whole Meek Mill drama at that like event or whatever the fuck happened with that situation, we haven't seen him in a while. You know, he's been dissing Dirk and all this other shit that's been going on. And he has security 24-7, so motherfuckers can't do him like that. But he stopped trolling. We haven't seen him in a while, and we're like... Where is this dude? And I feel like at this point, it has said in that, yo, I'm blackballed. And like, bro, you kind of fell off. Because listen, they ain't putting you on the playlists and shit. You're not really getting his music. You can't really play his music on radio. They ain't putting him on the playlist on Apple Music and Spotify. Like the industry not really fucking with you. So it's different. With a young boy, it's different because he's like the king of fucking YouTube. And the label still wants him on the label. He's not blackballed. It's just that they want him on the fucking label because his popular and his fan base goes that crazy for that nigga. And it's like, maybe the other niggas he fucks with or are assigned to his label, they might be blackballed, but they can't really blackball young boy because this nigga's trying to leave the label and they and they not trying to let him leave. So there's like a prop, there's prop for him. Nigga, I just seen this nigga on 2 Chainz album. Like, you know what I'm saying? But 6 9 just like, they just... Like dissipated, like this nigga dissipated, like he water vapor, like they got rid of that motherfucker, and it was what it was. And this is a clear lesson of would you sell yourself for fame? Now I don't hate six nine, I don't hate what he did. He did what he did. My only thing with him is why I portray that image yet to get on, but still, it was dumb either way. And like I said, you have a right to be mad at him if you're a street nigga, like his the the niggas that he got locked up, like they family members, cool, trippy red, cause. I don't know what the fuck beef y'all niggas had cool, but like, it was just weird. Like, he's gone. There's no real social media presence. And it's like, he could be like a social media personality without the music at this point. Sure, he can do music. It's kind of like Black Youngster who has a personality. Yeah, he does music, but he really has a personality that he could do like shows and shit. He kind of like that aspect. Like, yeah, we liked the music, but we also liked the personality. We liked the antics of 6 9 you know? So, with that being said, it's like he disappeared. He fell out the face of the earth. Apparently, he has a song coming with a young boy. We'll see what the fuck happens with that. There's supposed to be a song with Lil Tim. We don't know what's happening with that. And I feel like he's just trying to find himself. Like, what is he going to do? He can't rely on the numbers thing to talk his shit anymore. So, what is he really going to do? There ain't going to be a real push for him, you know, with the label and shit. He still has to deliver an album to them. So... Because you drop that, I don't know if it has to be a whole Spanish album he has to deliver it to them. So, nobody really wants to work with him at this. So, it's like very confusing. How the fuck is he gonna do it? 
So we'll see what the fuck that happens with that shit. But like, yeah, at this point, he kind of fell off. He's blackballed. He kind of fell the fuck off, you know? It's not like Tory Lanez who like, yeah, he's blackballed, but he kind of still does his thing. Like, the quality of music is still there. It's just motherfuckers don't want to pay attention to it or push it. It's like, he's literally gone. Like, the nigga fell off. And you just got to look at it like, mm. And it's just fucking gross. <laughs> what the fuck can you say? You can't really say anything. And it's just weird at this point. So, Six can come back if you really wanted to. But, we'll see what the fuck happens with this situation. But, yeah, at this point, my nigga fell off. Maybe he could be the club. Maybe he can't. Maybe he doesn't want to. And maybe that's the answer in itself. Maybe he doesn't want to. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what the next move is. The next troll. The next trend. And it is what it is. So we'll see what happens with 6 9 And yeah. It is what it is. But yeah. What do you feel? You feel like he could come back? You feel like he's done forever? Put your comments down below. Like the video. Fuck subscribe. Check out the other videos I got. Links in the description. Yeah. It's your favorite neighborhood nigga, K.A. Signing off for today. The Black TJ, that while I'm my name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe if you want to hear a little bit more. And yeah, I'm going off this thing. Slime, Zoom, P, Shaw, Elsh, Gang. Aye.